Hey everybody, this is Fradam, and in this Linux tip episode, I'm going to show you how to install Steam Client in Wine. This is if you want to play Steam games in the Wine environment. This will let you play some games in some Windows games on your Linux box. You know, a lot of people don't particularly care for that um, ability, but there are a few of us out there that still want to play some Windows games and don't 100% subscribe to the no tucks, no bucks concept. If you're not familiar with that, uh, you can Google it and uh, get the details there. So basically what you want to do is you want to go to the store.steampower.com, which I have up on my browser, or slash about, and you want to go to the, you want to click on install Steam up in the left hand corner. And this is the welcome screen, and it'll basically, if you click on install Steam now, it'll download the Linux client because it detects it through your browser that you're running Linux. So down below it in small text is also available for Windows. So if you click that, it'll download steamsetup.exe. So once that's downloaded, we can uh, close our browser, go to your file manager, Go to your downloads directory and then find steamsetup.exe and if you you should already have wine installed at this point so if you right click on it there's an option that says open with the wine windows program loader so go ahead and click on that and it'll, you'll get the welcome to steam setup it's pretty much the same as if you were installing it on linux um, we have obviously we have some fonts missing here because they're showing up as just the little blocks but it doesn't matter so you want English hit next leave the um, defaults and install so now we got run steam hit finish and steam will update itself I'm running two monitors, but only capturing one screen, so I have to keep dragging it over when it, uh... And there we go. And log into an existing account. Steam. Thinking it's in a Windows machine. Now, I do want to point out that I get this error message here. The program steamwebhelper.exe has encountered a serious problem and needs to close. We're sorry for the inconvenience. I don't really know what this means, but it's never been a problem. I just hit close when it pops up. Now in theory, I should be able to load up a game that is a Windows only game. So let's find one here. Um, let's see, Rocket League. And I can install it. And this is probably going to take a few minutes. But this should install, and then once it's done, I should be able to play it. And we'll come back when it's done. Which, according to this, will be in eight minutes. So, um, see you in about eight minutes. Okay, so the game installed. I, r I ran it just to make sure it was really going to work. So. Basically, now if you go to your library, you'll see go to library and select installed games. I have one game, Rocket League. Um, hit play. I did have to tab over to it um, to get it to show up. Because um, there was some weird issue with that error that popped up, I had to tab over and close that error and then go into Rocket League. There we go. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, Rocket League. Um, I, since I have dual monitors, things don't always quite work the way I expected. And, um, but, just as a proof of concept, which is the point of this, um, the game works. There it is. 
Um, I don't seem to have sound, so I might have to do some tweaking. Um, so, yeah. That's all there is to it. I've actually have done this before um, for my brother-in-law's computer. I set him up with, he likes train simulators. And I set him up with a um, train simulator installed this way and it worked perfectly. So, so far I've played a couple games with Steam Windows Client in Wine with great success. And um, it's just another gaming option for Linux users out there so that you know you don't have to boot into Windows and um, go from there so it's a lot like I said before a lot of people don't like running games in wine They're, it's a uh, you know they believe that if developers aren't gonna support Linux then why should we give them our money but I don't buy new games for uh, Windows and run them in Wine. So I kind of follow that philosophy. I just happen to own a lot of games from back when I used to run Windows. And in the case of um, this game, Rocket League, I got it for free for buying a Steam controller. So, And they're supposed to be releasing it for Linux eventually anyways, which will be nice when that happens. So I just play games that I already, that I already own. It just depends on how you look at it. Some people feel that, hey, you know what? I want to play games no matter what platform they're on, and I want to do it in Linux. So that's where Wine comes in handy um, for, you know, those Linux games that you just can't. I mean, look, I got Torchlight 2. I haven't been able to play in a long time because it's a, a Windows-only game. Um, miscreated... These are games under my favorite. Just under my favorite, Sticks. That was a fun game, and I never got to really play it because I switched to Linux. So, this gives you that opportunity to be able to play the games that you want to play, whether it's Linux or um, Windows. Now, I do want to give out the caveat that not everything will play in um, Wine. A lot of games won't. There is... If you go to winehq.org, I believe it is, there is a wiki there that has a list. You can search for any game there and see how well it plays in wine. They have a, a great weight rating system. Some games play great, like World of Warcraft. That game, perfect in wine. Um, I know some play, people play um, Elder Scrolls in wine without any problems. Um, I heard Witcher 3 works, I haven't tried it yet. So before, if you're going to buy a game with the hopes of playing it in wine, check that website first for compatibility and go from there because it would suck to buy a game and have it not work. Just because some Yahoo on the internet said, hey, just run it in wine. You know, I'm, I'll be the first to admit that I'm not always right when I say a game will run in wine. Check for yourself. Make sure. Don't spend any money until you're 100% sure. Um, if it runs in wine, check on YouTube. You can search for the game plus wine and get some gameplay video to make sure it works. Um, there's a lot of people out there that play wine games. There's uh, one guy that plays Rocket League a lot and records it and posts it on YouTube and he's playing it in wine so uh, just you know buyer beware not everything's gonna work a lot of things do and you most likely want to be running the latest version of wine which is version 1.9.8 might even be 1.9.8.1 I can't remember but anyways just be aware that not everything works anyways uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please thumbs up, share it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and I hope you have a great night. Thanks you very much.